Hello and welcome to a U3A web demonstration video on how a group leader can check a person has current membership in U3A web and add them to their group. If your U3A does not issue physical membership cards, group leaders need to check that a new attendee has actually got current U3A membership. If they're not a member, then insurance issues may present themselves, and also, why should a non-member get the benefits of your organisation without paying their dues? Checking membership via the website can be done using a smartphone or similar mobile device that has internet access at the group meeting. Or failing that, then the check can be done when you return home and use your PC connected to the internet. This video has been made using a U3A test system, so your screen may look slightly different, but the basic functionality and location of buttons will be in a similar place. For this demonstration, we'll be logging in as member number 8122, which is Dustin Hoffman, the group leader for the Computer Help Group. So let's log on as him. So here you can see that we're logged on now as uh, Dustin Hoffman, it tells you at the top of the screen. Now as a group leader or a web buddy, you have an elevated profile in the U3A web system that allows you to do many things with your group display. But the one that we're going to concentrate here on is checking membership and adding a new member to your group list to make communications easier for you. Once the leader logs into the member section, which we've just done, they need to find the group that they are leader for. And this can be done in many ways, but we'll use the menu item Groups and then select Groups by Title from the sub-menu. So I'll click on Groups and I'll click on Groups by Title. The system goes away and it finds all of the groups that are listed for the U3A. So you may need to scroll down the presented list to find your group and simply click on the group title. But in this case we're looking for the computer help group and as you can see that is actually sitting somewhere down towards the bottom of the screen there. So I'll click on the title computer help. As a group leader you have extra icons across the top of the page and these allow you to carry out various functions but for this video we're going to be concentrating on the one that depicts a head and shoulders which I'm pointing at now and it says there update group members there are videos showing other group leader functions in U3A web or you can refer to the user guide which should be available from your system user guides in your system what we'll do now is we'll now click on the head and shoulders icon and you're presented with a list of current members for your group if they've been added previously. In this case we have the members all listed here as you can see. However there is an entry for Nicholas Cage sitting here which has a link saying confirm next to it. What this may be and quite likely is that Nicholas has applied from the website to become a member of your group and he can do this simply from the website, no need to converse with you at all. But you will have received an email telling you this when the application was made. So what we'll do is I'll switch across to the email inbox for the test system and this will be the email that Dustin Hoffman has been sent. Here you can see it, it says there, Dear Dustin Hoffman. So we'll open up the email and you can see here that it says, Dear Dustin Hoffman, Nicholas Cage has applied for a place on the computer help group. And that you need to go in and administer the application. So what we'll do is we'll switch back to U3A Web and do just that for Nicholas. Now we have a couple of options that we can make for this application. Firstly, we could just click on Confirm, in which case the applicant gets an email telling them that they are now a member of the group. However, we may have spoken to Nicholas and discovered that the group isn't really what they were looking for, so we need to decline the application. In versions of U3A Web prior to 7.0.8, which we're in at the moment, but in the earlier versions, there'll be a link roughly where I'm pointing now saying decline. However, from 7.0.8 onwards, the decline link is now in a red cross in a white uh, sorry, a white cross in a red circle to the far right of the application. This is where I'm pointing now. 
what we'll do is we'll click on that icon and the system refreshes and asks for a reason for the decline now I would ask that you please keep the entries that you put in here professional as the applicant is actually sent an email with a reason for refusal in this case I will just type in there applicant has decided venue is too far away Okay, so we put in applicant has decided group venue is too far to travel. All you do now is you click on OK. The system will refresh and Nicholas is now shown as declined. So what we'll do now is we'll flash across to the test system mailbox and see what mails have gone out. And you can see now that two more emails have gone out. So the first one we'll look at is the one that goes to the member. So this has gone to Nicholas Cage and it says it's with regret it's not been possible to allocate you a place as a member of the computer help group the follow for the following reasons. Applicant has decided group venue is too far to travel. Tells you if uh, tells the applicant if you wish to discuss this then please contact the group leader via U3A web. So that's the first mail. The second mail actually comes back to the group leader and it gives you all the details and it says dear Dustin Hoffman who is the group leader it's with regret that it's not been possible to allocate Nicholas Cage a place as a member of the computer help group for the following reasons applicant has decided group venue is too far to travel now this may seem a little odd however it does mean that you as a group group leader can keep a log of why you've declined somebody in case there's a query at a later date and we'll switch back to the U3A web system now the thing is you've still got Nicholas Cage sitting in there showing as declined you may want to get rid of that line completely and I think most people would so if you go to the far right hand side of that uh, applicant line you'll see that there's a red X for each one and because we've declined Nicholas's uh, application we'll click on that red X and the system asks you to confirm the deletion so yes we do want to delete Nicholas we click on confirm delete and the system goes away and you can see now that Nicholas has completely disappeared from that entry. So the other scenario that we're going to look at is where a member might have turned up at your group meeting and asked to join. If your U3A doesn't issue paper membership cards then you'll need to check that they are actually a current member. To do this you access your group as we did before, click on the head and shoulders icon as we did before as well. And to check for a new potential member of the group, the leader clicks on the large plus sign, it's a blue plus sign, towards the top right of the screen. The new page that's presented has a field for you to search the member's database to find the relevant member. And you can search by either name or by membership number, whichever suits you at the time. As you start to type in any member with that detail, you'll find a list will be presented with the members that satisfy the criteria you're putting in. So we've let's assume we've had a lady called Lucille Ball turn up at our group, asked in to join, as an, and has given us the member number of 8174. So what I'll do is I'll start typing in her name. Now this can be either surname or forename and surname or membership number. But we're going to go for the full name. So I'll start typing in Lucille. If I type in just the L you'll see that the list is huge because everyone with an L in their name shows. If I type in LU it comes down in this case to just four. Okay, It may be more so you might have to type a bit more. So we'll type in LUC. Now you can see now that we're down to just one member which is called Lucky Assets, what an unusual name. However there is no Lucille Ball. So we could assume at this point that we just haven't got a Lucille Ball, she's not a member and when she turns up the following week or the following fortnight, whenever, um, you turn around and say I'm sorry Lucille but you appear not to be a member of the U3A and we can't let you in for insurance reasons. However, if you want to double check, what you could do is get rid of that member, uh, that name, and you could type in their membership number. So remember, her membership number was 8174. If we just start with 8, there's hundreds of them. 
8 1, there's still loads of them. 8 1 7, it comes down to just a few. And if I put in the 4 as well, the list disappears completely. Now, this tells you that there is no member with a number 8174. So, again, you can tell Lucille that uh, I'm sorry, Lucille, you're not a member and we can't admit you to the group. Okay, so we'll cancel that scenario. We're back at the uh, the screen we were at before, so let's look at another potential scenario. At the same time as Lucille turned up, a fellow called James Mason, member number 8130, also joined, uh, turned up to join. So we'll follow the same process to get to the search screen by clicking on the blue plus sign. And what we need to do now is to start typing in James Mason's name. So this time, I can't remember his first name. So we're going to start typing in Mason. So we type in M, loads of them, MA, down to a few less, MAS, all oh, down to even less. Now at this point, you may say, well, OK, we've got James Mason, that makes sense. We've got Marsha Mason, that makes sense. Why have we got Guy, Guy Thomas? Well, Guy Thomas is there because you can see at the end of his surname there is the letters M-A-S in a row. So that would put that in there. So if we now type in the O, we come down to just the two Masons and we would say, OK, fine, James is one of our members. So you click on James's name and that transfers his name into the search box along with his membership number. So we now click on OK. The system goes away and it places James in the list of members for the group. Now we can see that James is in the list, however we have still got next to him that he's only applied and he needs confirming. So what we'll do is we'll click on that confirm link because we've met James, we know that he's, uh, he's a nice fella, he's coming into the group. So we click on confirm and the system goes away and it puts James in the list. So we can see that James is there as a member. Now when this happens, uh, another couple of emails go away. So we'll move across to the inbox for the, uh, for the test system. And as you can see here, there is an email that's come in for James Mason. So we'll open it up and it says dear james mason your place as a member of the computer help group has been confirmed if you're no longer interested in the group please contact the group leader as soon as possible and there's some more details below kind regards dustin hoffman so an email goes out by you confirming that uh, you're taking him into the group and he now knows that he can turn up and everything will be fine so you can see that it's a fairly simple process to check and add members to the system and that means that membership cards are no longer necessary for group leaders when it comes to checking the validity of applications. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye and see you soon.